Welcome everybody to Blizzard Peak Hill Climb, and today we're dealing with the 1995 Nissan Nismo GTR LM. Now this has a 1,016 horsepower, 858 pounds-feet of torque, 7 litre twin turbocharged V8 engine, and the car weighs 3,030 pounds. It's got all-wheel drive, snow tyres and off-road suspension, it can do 0 to 60 in 3.017 seconds, 0 to 105.734 seconds, and going to a top speed of 199 miles an hour. So uh, yeah, unfortunately the original engine, though really really good in this car in stock form, is nowhere near uh, good enough in terms of generating a, a good enough amount of power when upgraded. You couldn't even get 600 horsepower out of it. So, uh, yeah, had to uh, swap the only other engine that was allowed in it, and that's a V8. So, uh, yeah, if that annoys you, then sorry, but it's the only engine I had available to me, and uh, I'm using it to its full potential. And, uh, yeah, so uh, the car itself well, doesn't weigh all that much. It wasn't meant for all wheel drive originally, because it's obviously based on the ordinary skyline. And uh, yeah, those acceleration times look like the uh, car will be uh, pretty quick. Though uh, whether or not it will deal with the snow and ice really well, I don't know. So let's uh, see what it can do. So, yeah, nowhere near revs as high as the original engine. But get more power out of it, so it's obviously going to be quicker than that original engine when it's upgraded. Well, it's dealing with the all-wheel drive, the extra power really well. And, you know, like I said, this is a car that was meant to have all-wheel drive standards. They took it off for this one-off version, so it should be no surprise. It is surprising that it's handling the extra power as well, really well. A little bit of a hint of understeer, but nothing major. It's more oversteer than anything, to be honest. Well, that's a solid time. That really, really is. Can't fault it at all for that. 1 minute 54.181, which means it's ever so slightly behind the Lamborghini Centenario, but it beats the McLaren P1, that Lola Pence Sunico, and the uh, Lycan Hypersport, as well as the Ferrari La Ferrari, the Alfa Romeo 4C, and the Mercedes Benz SL65, which, yeah, is really incredible, because, uh, yeah, obviously this is a car dealing with. Not only with all-wheel drive, which I know it was meant for in the uh, standard Skyline, but obviously this is the upgraded, different version, and uh, then it's also dealing with way more power, a much different engine, and uh, yeah, it's also dealing with snow and off uh, ice and off-road suspension and all that lot, and uh, yeah, obviously it doesn't have anywhere near the power as that Lamborghini Centenario, and uh, yeah, it's uh, come ever, ever so close to it, it's less than half a second behind it, and uh, it's also beaten that McLaren P1 which is obviously again a car that's far more powerful, far better in terms of handling etc than uh, this was. Though uh, I do think that McLaren P1 got a little bit lucky because it did have some understeer issues which were less prominent in this car. But again, that's not to take away from this car because that is an incredible time. And uh, yeah, well, well beats the uh, 2017 Nissan GTR which put in a time of 1 minute 59.786. So this is more than 5 seconds quicker than that car which is incredible. So uh, yeah, hugely impressed with this vehicle and uh, yeah, really do quite like how uh, well it drove on this course. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.